So continue saga of the whole conversation that I just had about my coffee machine. So it just gets more annoying. So basically I go into um, my local store and I have a chat with the assistant manager who, because there's several assistant managers and I didn't realise there were several, they all got similar hairdos. So I thought I was talking to the same girl and then realised I wasn't talking to the same girl. And I explained the whole thing again to her. So I was so frustrated because they're saying, customer services are saying they won't do anything without a receipt and Ambiano won't replace it because they say that's not what they do. I explained the whole thing to her and she like, and I said, I'm just literally so frustrated. I don't know what to do because I've got this product and I can't get it replaced or repaired. And so she took pity on me and um, she went and got um, a copy of the receipt. She took down the date. She could see, you know, that I, because I could show her my food um, on my other card as well, that I bought food and then I bought this. You could actually see like the time difference, you know, one after the other kind of thing. So she just went, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go and get the receipt. I can get it on the system. And it took her ages to do and she'd come out and I was so grateful. She would give me the piece of paper and she said, look, this is the receipt. She said, the only thing is, and I'm really sorry to do this to you because I know you've been through this all day, blah, blah, blah. And I said, like, said, oh, God, you know what? And she said, you're going to have to go to Audi Customer Service again and get them to authorise the full refund. And I said, yeah, no problem. I said, do you mind if I sit in the car park and do it? Because i got all the stuff here. I don't want to have to go all the way home to come back out again. And she said, no, 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 that's absolutely fine. Off you go, kind of thing. She sent me off into the car park. So I got off into the car park. I sat there on a customer services. I had a terrible time trying to get through because they're having some problems with their lines or something the first guy I spoke to just could not hear me and he's trying to take down my details and he can't take my details down because he can't hear me and I said look don't worry about it leave it I'll re-ring and see if I can get through someone and get a better line so I rang back and um spoke to a lady she says to me yeah I explained everything again to her so like bearing in mind I probably explained this like nine times today already to different people and she was like yeah no problem that's absolutely fine how much is it for and I explained that it's for 59.99 I told her all the thing on the details on the receipt and everything I explained to all about Ambiano because they've given me a reference number which authorizes them them to do the refund apparently um, and she's like, yeah, no problem. Um, I have filled it all in and this is your authorization number. So I wrote down the authorization number on the bottom of the receipt so I wouldn't lose it. And I was so relieved at this point. thinking, yeah, I sorted it out. No problem. Yeah, after all this hassle all day, but yeah, you know, and everything. So I goes into the shop and I find one of the assistant managers and she said, oh, no, you need to speak to the lady you spoke to before. And I was like, okay. And she said, she's over there by the meats or whatever. So I went and found the lady, but she wasn't there. She was somewhere else, but I recognised her anyway. I found her. And then that's where it just went, all went to shit. So I said, oh, I've got the authorization code. All like really happy. Because obviously that was the last conversation I had with her. And her attitude had completely changed from the time that I'd gone from the shop to the car park. All of a sudden I was like the enemy. And she was like, I can't do it, I'm afraid. I can only give you the sale price, which is $9.99. I said, well, no, because customer services have just authorised the full refund for what I paid for it, which is $59.99. And you just told me to go and get the authorization code, which I did. And basically, she kind of became this like, well, you know, I don't want to get into trouble with my manager. I don't want to lose my job over this. If I do it, it's on me and all this kind of thing. And then she just basically refuses to do it and says there's absolutely no way that anyone's going to do it for me, basically, in the shop. And she tried to say that the first person I spoke to in store, that I'd been rude to them, which is absolutely not true. I basically told the lady the story between Ambiano and customer services and obviously that I was very frustrated with them and suddenly that's becoming like I'm being frustrated with her when I've not said that at all I've said all the way through I even said to the lady who went out of her way to get me a receipt I said to her look I'm so grateful I'm really thankful that you did this for me you went above and beyond to get me a receipt and I'm so grateful but I don't understand how it's gone from yes we can do this if you get authorization to no we're not doing it at all I don't get it I just like it completely changed so then I've had to come home because I was running out of charge I was literally in tears at this point because at this point 
I've been on the phone eight different times to eight different people. I've had to explain the story from different companies, from Ambiano to Aldi, and I've had to explain the whole story again and again to all of them. Um, I've been very frustrated, very upset, as you can imagine, because every time I've had to relay this, this is another 20 minutes, another 30 minutes out of my life. And then I've been to the store three times. And every time the store has told me to do something differently. Like the first time I went to the store, they said for me to get a reference from Ambiano. Oh, you should have had a reference from them. And I was like, oh, no, I didn't. So I then rang them. They gave me the reference. And then when I went in, oh, no, you need this now. So then I get that sorted out. And then, oh, no, no, you need the authorization now. So then I get the authorization and they still won't do it. So I'm still stuck with a coffee machine and no resolution. And all I really want is a new coffee machine because it's in warranty. And now, thanks to the lady who refused to do it, I have actually got the original receipt. So I've got everything I need. I still can't get any resolution. It shouldn't be difficult. It shouldn't be a difficult thing to sort out. And yet it's just... So now I've gone back to customer services. I've just told some poor Scottish guy the whole story all over again, like from beginning to end, like from all the conversations I've had with everybody, all the conversations in the store. This is exactly everything that's happened. Blah, 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 blah. He's really apologetic, very pleasant. I can't fault everybody I've spoken to today has been very pleasant, but nothing's like, but they've all like been passing the buck. So now he's passed it to the warranty team. Because he said, now you've got everything you need, it should be able to be sorted out. And he said, and I could totally understand why you're upset and where your frustrations come from. And I said, look, all I've done is explain to you the same way as I explained to the first lady in the shop. And apparently she's now told everybody I was rude to her. And he said, oh, you're not being rude. He said, you're being like passionate about what you're talking about, but you're not being rude. I kept apologising for being frustrated. And he said, kept saying to me, no, I can totally understand where you're coming from. You've been, I've been on the phone all day, all day. And I've been to the shop three times. I'm not one of them. As like, you know, they, they keep apologising and saying, sorry, I'm sorry about that. And I'm sorry about this, blah, 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 blah. And then I was so upset with the woman in the shop. I just couldn't believe it. I was just like, one minute, she's like, yeah, we can sort this out. You've got the receipt now, blah, blah, blah. I get authorization. I get the authorization. And then suddenly, no, I can't do it. What the hell? Seriously? Honestly, don't know. So now it's gone back to the warranty team. So I'm just like, what the hell? I've had it up to here today. I cried in the shop. They made me cry. I don't cry. I'm not a sort of person. She made me cry because I'd literally done nothing but go backwards and forwards and back. And, oh, I said to her, can't you see why I'm anno annoyed, uh, why I'm upset? She just looked at me. So I'm sure the saga will continue. Ridiculous.